Welcome to Unfiltered Pixel Pro Audio's weekly show. We're on a boat around the drum. We got a bunch of mics to test. Can you record a podcast on a boat? Today on Unfiltered, we're gonna go out on my boat. We had picked a nice calm day. Yep. And, and then, now uh, it is not calm anymore. Yeah. We're gonna test a whole bunch of fancy microphones. There's always room for panic and, <laughs> and mayhem. Some low end entry level microphones and some higher end microphones and we're gonna record a podcast on the boat. Don't aim us at those rocks. Everything I've done has been in a studio environment so this is new for me. Are you getting nervous, David? What? Are you getting nervous? I, I am drop dead terrified. Our lives are at risk right now. I have a feeling that some of these mics are gonna sound surprisingly good. That way, the other way. I'm expecting a lot of wind, uh, especially when we're moving. We're going upwards of 20 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little worried that we might damage some of the mics or something, but I guess we'll see what happens. Turn us away from the shore. We've got a lot of questions from customers who wanna know how to do location audio. No, don't drive us towards the rocks. Take us that way. And today we're gonna try to answer some of those questions and show you what a whole bunch of different microphones sounds like. So join us on the boat. We are talking into our stealths as per the normal show, but I'm also using this lab here, this uh, Zoom F1 field recorder pack. And then we're also going to be using this shotgun mic. This is a Rode NTG2. We put the windscreen on because we don't know what's gonna happen. We've also got three of these vintage um, 635As from ElectroVoice. Very common in uh, interviews and whatnot. And then the Blue Encore 100, which I love this mic. We're gonna see how it sounds outside. So we're going into the H6. It's uh, got an SD card in it. You have to use battery power, which we're doing in here, so we have batteries in here. You know, you could have a laptop plug into that. That has battery power, obviously, but uh, that's how you would get to uh, record onto your uh, DAW. But right now, we're going to be taking all this video and all this audio and putting it together later. Uh, so that's what we got going on here. And we are today on a boat in Lake Winnebago somewhere. Uh, and uh, we're here to figure out if you can record a podcast on a boat. Uh, of course, this is a vidcast here, but we're uh, recording on an H6 um, and, and kind of like showing different microphones as what we can do here for uh, recording a podcast. Um, so guys, Mike, is this great or what? I think so. It's pretty yeah. great. Can we do this every week instead? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it's weather permitting, but um, uh, right now we've got some wind here. Uh, it's it's picking up. So this is our first test, right? Yeah. Like, right. The stealth. What is the stealth going to do with all this wind? And on it, we've got the Rode WS2. Uh, so hopefully that's the windscreen. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. These are windscreens. They're not like you know what dead cats you're talking about. Like what that handle more wind on. Uh, yeah, with yeah. the furry little things. Yeah. yeah. Um. I think another thing to point out is that we have low cut filters on this, right, David? Yeah, the low cut on these three stealths are set at 98 hertz, or no, sorry, 80 hertz. And then we've got a shotgun mic, uh, the Rode NTG2, and we've got a low cut on that set at uh, 115 hertz. So I, I don't know. And that's what, set on here, right? Yes, yes. So we're seeing if these microphones are, you know, this is our normal setup. When we're in the, in the uh, Pixel Pro Audio studios, this is our setup, so we brought it right here in the back of the With boat the drum and everything yeah. look at that so we're, we're trying to test this out and see if this works here um another cool thing i just want to point this out about the um h6 we've got limiters on the channels so that way if we're talking too loud we don't clip the converters and stuff so it's really cool that it's got it built right in it's got like compressors and stuff too so yeah i mean this thing's kind of our audio hub for the whole thing today yeah um it's got the phantom power it's all battery powered mm -hmm. um it's got all of the low cut filters everything that we need to to record a podcast on a boat yeah and then uh our master tay is going to put all this together in the end which we always do anyway we always record the audio and the video separate so yep. this should really be no different than what we normally do except we're on a boat. Right. So and battling the wind. And right. battling the wind, which is what, you know, I mean, we get a lot of customers who ask us, you know, to, to how they're going to record in situations like this. And so we, we wanted to get some firsthand experience and be able to, like, answer that a little better. So we're going to test a whole bunch of microphones today. Yep. Well, so let's get to that. I mean, we're, we've got this, the Aston Stealths here. I have a lab on right now, and I think right now I'm going to switch to it. I have the Zoom F1 field recorder. 
Um, I just hooked it up because why not? And uh, it's, it's right here, you can see it in the shot. Um, and I'm just recording my voice also during this. Real quick, it might be better to switch sides on your collar so that it can... <laughs> Yeah, the, you want the mic like pointing so, at your mouth, not so to the side. What? What? <laughs> yeah, you know, work. <laughs> so that looks better. We, yeah. you know, we want to come out here and show you different kind of microphones. We're, we're kind of getting our hands on this for the first time too, like different, different mics in these situations. So uh, clearly, uh, you know, I'm a lab expert. <laughs> All right, so we got the F1. I would say none of us are lab experts. No, Th this is part of us becoming better at helping our customers is we right. want to we want to use these things and learn how to use them better yeah. so that we can give good advice to people so and so this might sound bad but that's the point of this like like we you know these microphones here in the wind it's picking up again um this yeah. might sound we're all studio guys so yeah. lavalier <laughs> mics are not something you normally use in a studio and so we're yeah we're learning and bringing the knowledge to you so if you go out for the first time you know Hopefully, uh, we'll Hopefully, give you some tips and yeah, tricks here. <laughs> can learn, learn the lessons we've made, uh, the, or the from the mistakes we uh, made here today. Yeah, <laughs> easy <laughs> for you to say. To talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, starting to sound like me. <laughs> let's let's uh, let's switch some microphones. So what what do we want to go to first? Well, first, um, while I'm switching these, why don't we do shotgun audio? Okay, so we can switch to that, um, and then uh, while this is going, I'm going to switch my mic to the. Blue Encore 100i. If the waves okay. don't throw us overboard. Yeah. And a little, a little bit, a little aside here. We'll have Kieran, my daughter, on the show a little bit later. So right now, she's operating the camera. And uh, yeah, you, yeah. Yep. She gave us she one of these. Uh, check, oh, check. First mate, skipper style. Check, check. Okay, we've got a David's lot of level getting, there. Wow. David's getting okay. level here on. Cool. On that. And this is the Blue 100 or uh, Blue Encore 100. I or just 100? No, nope, wow. just 100. A lot of wind. 100. I'm going to cover this a little bit. Here, why don't you take the WS2 and just kind of toss it on the top of yeah, it? We'll I know it doesn't it really fit that microphone, but let's just do it just for the... Oh, there we go. <laughs> 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 this looks ridiculous. Coming to you live. How does it sound? Um, I guess we'll find out in the studio. You, yeah. You were, you were maybe, anticipating maybe this. Could, because what we could you know, what yeah. we could do for a customer is we have other windscreens that would fit this microphone that you yeah, put absolutely. on there. Right. Yeah. And I actually think this mic is just ridiculously good for the price it is and i was really curious to see how it sounded outside in this kind of environment so i guess we'll find out yeah so there's the 100 which is just the vocal microphone yeah yeah and then there's the 100i which is the instrument version which is more designed for this is, it might this just is be a different pickup pattern i don't know but they sound very similar to me and i, I like them both yeah the i so. is a, is ten dollars cheaper i think yeah. yeah so this is just uh this is what you'd use on stage um, for live performances and stuff. Here, give yeah. me that. Give me that. Yeah. Well, we could just. No, 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 no. So now I'm in. I'm <laughs> he now doesn't want to get anywhere channel. near David's <laughs> windscreen. Well, I don't I'm, I'm in you. channel two, so he's not getting any mic right now. Um, oh yeah. I just wanted to see this on my on my voice. <laughs> let's little. talk about David since he yeah, can't talk he, back now. We can't he, hear him. He so got he bit by a spider hear. last night. Yep. A radioactive spider. Yep. So I'm, he's trying that <laughs> thing. Here. I got spots in my face. So. Let's, let's zoom in. I got spots in my face. I don't know if you can see them, but it's horrible. You, you can't. You can't. <laughs> Jade, you want to try talking into this? Sure. You're making me use my windscreen, huh? Yes, I am. Okay. If that falls over, it's on you. We're done. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Um. So ask me. Ask me something personal. What do you want to know about me? How How long is this boat? This boat is 20 feet. I think He's lying. 21, 21 feet. All the way to the back. It yeah. can fit. They can't hear me. Kieran, how many people? How many people can it fit? I think it's 11 persons. What's the max capacity? That's what it says. Jay. 11 What's persons. What's the max capacity? The, 10, persons. Ten persons. Ah! Oh! One four, one four pounds. Oh I guess we have to throw you overboard. Yeah. <laughs> <We are. laughs> Where's the plank? Walk yeah. the plank. So we could. So our next podcast should be how to record 10 people. A 10 person podcast on a boat. Yes, that sounds good. <laughs> A little party. I'm gonna give that back to him so we can talk. <laughs> right. We'd need two H sixes. Okay. Take this now. Um. There you go. Jay, is it is it is it too late to tell you that I'm I get seasick? Yes. <laughs> is it too late to Do tell you, really? you I don't know how to swim? <laughs> oh, really? You know how to swim. He knows You're how lying. To swim. You're He's lying. Uh, I get so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, we're going to switch to these Electro Voice uh, 635As. These are super common reporter mics, and they don't have a lot of low end, so I think they'll reject the wind quite a lot. So let's try it you out. think so? I hope so. All right, let's here find we go. out. All right, 
let me check the levels coming in. Mine are solid. Check, check, check. Oh, flies hold on. We've had flies descend upon the boat here. Yeah. All of a sudden, all right, look at so this. There's like, they're taking there's refuge. Like, there's like 20 flies on the boat all of a sudden. All right, yeah, you guys got to keep yeah. talking. Oh, I got to yeah. set our levels here. So yeah. I have to change the levels the, because... I'm going to put the windscreen on. Yeah, I'm going to put the windscreen on mine too. Yeah, the wind is um, unexpectedly a little higher than when we literally started recording this, and then all of a yeah. sudden, bam, here comes yeah. the wind. But that's that's what the, you know, that's the nature. risk. That's the risk that's you take yeah. out here. And uh, I'm, I'm having to adjust the levels every time we change mics because the stealths, uh, they use phantom power for the uh, built-in preamp for extra gain, uh -huh. and we had that on. So um, for this, we are, like, these are just dynamic mics, and they need a lot more gain. So we, we have to turn it back up to get that extra level. Am I good? Did you check my level? I think so, yeah. Am I on the level? Yeah, yeah, you're Am good. I on the level? Okay. Yeah, you guys are good. How long have you had this boat, Jay? Uh, what two years I would say? Two yeah. three years. Third year. This is our third third summer with it. Wow. Wow. And before wow. that I knew nothing about boating at all, so Oh. I feel like this is the first year where I finally can actually maneuver a little bit like you're you a little should, more comfortable? should be like you should be able to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did a, a, the equivalent of a parallel park yesterday. <laughs> wow! And it was did the, that was something I couldn't do last year. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Did they call you a captain? They should. Yeah, yes, they, they should. definitely should call me. Yeah. Do you have a a captain hat? I don't, but I should. You need a pirate. Flag. I think I earned one yesterday with that parallel park. <laughs> yeah, it was like between boats. Are you talking between dots? two boats? We were we were literally tied up to the same, like on one end to the same uh, thing of Bob. Okay, no, I'm not a captain anymore. I don't know what that thing's called. <laughs> the thing you tie off to, we were tied up to the same one as another boat, so we were really close. We were probably nice. four feet from, e from each boat. And that's wow. really kind of hard to do because if you think about a boat, you know. Yeah, it, it moves with water. It moves with the water, and, yeah. and it's really hard to get between two boats because you only have so much sideways momentum. Guys, we're, we're uh, up front now on the boat, and we're going to uh, go from a standing still position here, and we're going to rocket it we're gonna go we're just gonna bust out that way and we're, we're we're gonna see what it sounds like uh talking into these microphones going pretty high speeds uh we got jay back there i got my camera on him uh he's got a lav on the f1 uh and then we got the stealths yep. so let's kick it Ooh. let's go ready action here we go ready everybody hold on to your stuff because i'm just gonna give it huh. Woo! <laughs> okay <laughs> we're going hey oh yeah just to introduce you guys, this is Kieran, yeah. the big K, and Hi. she's been helping us out today. Uh, we're going, we're going upwards of 20 miles an hour. Wow. So, are, are you thinking this is gonna sound good, Kieran? No, absolutely not. <laughs> How about you, David? Nope. <laughs> this is gonna sound bad, huh? This is gonna uh, be we'll terrible. Find out. Okay. Oh, splash! I suppose I should put. Oh my God! Oh, the camera is so getting right now. So my back is like, soaked. Like, can we stop and I could put more sunscreen on? Yeah. And feel a little burnt. So what's your band called? Creative Acoustics. Creative Acoustics. I like the yeah. ukuleles better. That was the, the ukulele. I feel like that's unoriginal though. What? what? Are you getting nervous, David? What? Are you getting nervous? No, this is fun. I love no, this stuff. I'm getting a little nervous. So we're gonna tone it down here now. We're gonna stop the boat. This was a test uh, to see what it sounds like when we're you're just yeah. ripping through the water. All right, so, cool. Bring Let's it do down, it. Jay. Is this the signal, the universal signal? <laughs> Perfect. Uh, should we switch to the XY on the zoom here? Yes. Okay. Let's oh, let's get let's boy. get these EVs. Okay. Off. Wait. Predictions. Predictions. Yeah, oh, what? predictions. For what? For what? For this. I think this is going to be the worst sounding of the bunch, just because. Well, I think uh, right now these are bad. Probably. These are probably yeah, but it. I bet you we can get better audio out of this than we'll get out of that, just because that's going to be further away, okay. and it's not a shotgun microphone. So I think that this is going to be the worst of, of everything we do today. I think the shotgun mic is going to be the worst because really, uh, just because it's it's so far away, it's probably good like what four feet, maybe five feet. And it's aimed uh, right at me. Was it always aimed right at me? I no, think it's it, it turned. Moved. It moved. It's moved. Yeah. Kieran, <laughs> hey, Kieran, you're not doing your job. <laughs> you're fired, and I'm not holding the mic to my face. <laughs> So All right, so we're gonna have to use the NTG for two for that audio. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah, perfect. That, that's better. Okay, okay. nice. I kind of think that that's too close to us. I though. agree. Too close. I do. Oh I no, it's it's, I don't think it's not close enough. 
Okay, I, like, I honestly, I think it needs to be it's probably a shot right here. It would only pick up David well, I know, closer. but like you, yeah. you're, you're supposed to po point it like a boom, like at the yeah. person talking. So like this is just between the three of us here. So I, I think positioning I think is all wrong, get, but I think it's just gonna get David right now. That's all we need. Bet. Yeah. Bet. Oh, I, <laughs> I, okay. It's on. It's on. It's just David's gonna sound okay, and we're gonna sound terrible. What are you guys betting? Uh, money. Lunch. Lunch. <laughs> Karen yeah. says money. Oh, lunch. Okay. One of those little microwave meals. Whoever loses buys me lunch. No, that <laughs> no, was no, not no. the deal. Oh. You're not part of this. Okay. I think I think the shotgun mic is also going to be bad. I think the X Y is actually the, with the wind it won't be good, but it's going to impress you. It's going to impress you. So here we go. <laughs> so we hooked up the H6 because um, we got the, the the XY left and right stereo microphone on the end of it. Um, so we had to get that set up. We had to do a little level check, that sort of thing. It's probably a lot of wind. Maybe I'm blocking a little bit, but this is what it's going to sound like uh, when it's this far away. I'm about a foot and a half, two feet away. Same with you guys. And we and should note that we have it in the, the 120 degrees position, not the 90 degree position. Yeah, because we're trying to pick up 180 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Which if you is guys... probably going to increase the noise, I would assume, too. Yeah, the wind yep. noise, but we'll, we'll be able to hear it. Wow, we will be able to hear everyone more evenly. So this yeah. is what it's gonna sound like if it's kind of windy, because it's kind of windy out here right yeah, now. It's pretty, pretty windy. I feel like uh, if if you if we do hear a lot of wind, um, if you got somewhere where it wasn't as windy, it'll, it should work fine. Um, yeah. I, I'm I actually. I think Tay is, he's backing up a little bit from his his uh, prediction that this is going to sound bad. worse than the NTG2. I don't know. Uh, I. I I think this is going to sound better. That was my prediction. Yeah. Yeah. I think it is yes. going to sound better. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Um, <laughs> no, I, I'm actually impressed with the uh, the XY uh, microphones. Uh, I am on, too. On the end in, of these. Indoors, I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I have never done it out. Well, no, I've done it outside. I've done some bird calls and stuff like that. Um, usually, I find that I have to turn the gain down. It's too much gain. Really? Yep. Oh, wow. So, we'll see. I don't know what you, you, you check the levels, but. Yeah, uh, we were peaking about negative six ish. Okay. That's so. good. Yeah. So that's the XY, guys. Okay, so this is, we kind of wanted to show the audio just from the iPhone 10. So this is just the iPhone 10. The wind has died down a little bit here right now. So a little bit. It's, it's, this is as low as I think it's yeah, been. It's picking up now. It's yeah. picking up now. <laughs> you can't say anything. It'll hear you. Jinx so it. let's, you guys, what do you got to say? I think uh, when I get my Android set up in a minute here, it's going to sound way better. You guys so the, it, you know this the the audio and the video on the iPhone 10 is pretty great. So this is kind of what, it, what what you can do with just that. Let's see how it is on the uh, Android. All right, so we switched to Android. Uh, this is uh, this is the Extreme. this is the S8 Note. Uh, so here uh, the wind is picked up a little bit, but we got uh, everyone in the shot here. Uh, Come on in your gear. Let's get the yeah, camera. Everybody, yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. So. Yeah. Android, does it sound better than an iPhone? <laughs> you be the judge. I, I bet. Okay, I'm, let's bet. No! I bet it does. No! 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 Yeah. No! No! Yeah. no. We got, oh, you guys got a tie break for us. <laughs> two against two. Alright, vote. Who, which sounds better? Which is better? Oh, wow! <laughs> no. Savage. Absolutes. What else do we have today? We have... Lavaliers, right? Ooh, lavalier. I'm wearing one now, so this is... Uh, it, 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 do I have it positioned right? Yeah, that looks actually perfect. Sweet. It kind of came off before, so I had to put it back on. <laughs> Professional. So uh, we're, we're going to do one of the iRig labs into Jay's iPhone, right? Yep, we're going to do an IK Multimedia uh, iRig lab. Yeah. Uh, and that'll plug into a, an iPhone, uh, and then we can get it set up and show you guys that. This, this time we're using the IK Multimedia iRig microphone, which is our cheapest option. It's $49.99. And uh, this is kind of a test to show you what that sounds like. So it do, you don't even have to spend a lot of money to get into a lavalier setup, especially if you're just going to be recording yourself. And so this is what that sounds like. Hey guys, we're back around the drum from our three-hour tour. We have landed. We were on the boat listening to uh, and testing out all these microphones. Mm -hmm. So we're here to talk about it. So what did you guys think? Like uh, your impressions of listening to the audio, um, looking back on that on that wonderful day out in the sun, and now it's all 
crappy out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, my first thought is it was really windy out there. So all yeah. of the audio samples from every mic had wind noise and... Which I think is fine. You, I know you hated it the whole time. You hated that, but that that showed you a real world the, like situation. The audio engineer in me wanted to like Just, get some plugins out and rip yeah. that stuff out of no, there no, as no, much no. as possible. And I, and, I'm glad we and, showed and how I, raw we, it was. We talked about this, but I want to do another video where we where David does his magic on the on the audio processing, and we try to get rid of as much of that as possible. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. He, he looks scared, but okay, yeah. I'll help. I'll help you too. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'd like to try some plugins and try yeah. some stuff and see what we can do to make that that audio that you just listened to even better. Okay, yeah, well, like cool. to, a lot better. Yeah, because some of that stuff was unusable, and some of it was some of it was great. Like I thought the stealths were great. Yeah, I was. I was very surprised at how good some of them sounded, mm -hmm. and yeah. I, was, I was really happy. Well, these that. windshields really do a lot of work for yeah. <laughs> for keeping the the air and mm -hmm. the sound or the wind sound out. Yeah. Um, so Which I think again is the Rode WS2. That, yeah, this is a really great windscreen. Yeah, I think we all uh, agree agree that uh, the Aston Stella sound pretty good. Yep. So I think those did really well in in the conditions. Yep. Um, moving down. Um, we were wearing the the la that lav the Zoom F1. Yeah, I thought that worked well too. When you were gunning it, Jay, uh, we had the F1 on you, and I think you sounded pretty good for yeah. for those conditions. That's yeah. pretty good. It, it could have been better though. Like if we had done a one of those uh, dead cat furries. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Like, I think if we had yeah. done that, I think we could have we could have done more. So again, we, I think we next year we next <laughs> summer we come back and we we do it again and we try to do it better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we switched over to those uh, e uh, Electro Voice EV uh, 635As. So my prediction, I felt, was pretty accurate. They sounded terrible, but yeah. th the wind was almost non-existent. That's, what he that's was because say. I think that's because there's no low end to those right. microphones. Right. Right. So you didn't get that rumble that you have in every other microphone. And I right. think, like, uh, in terms of like fixing the audio. Doing a low cut filter on most of those would take away a lot of the the wind noise and rumble because we didn't do any processing to that, so that's just how it was. Right. And I guess that's what they're for. Uh, they're for that type of situation mm -hmm. where you just like you stick it in front, you just want sound, um, and you're not going to get that low end any any uh, environmental uh, in interference. But I did think that the six thirty fives were usable. I mean, they're yeah. like th that's the typical traditional reporter microphone, and the reason they use those is because. They are so mid rangey They're they're tuned to speech, and uh, they did their job, which is what they're designed for. And you can yep. you like when you think of like especially local news and stuff, you hear that sound, and that's that's what we got. Yeah, actually, wow. Like yeah, you, Mike McCarthy or you know like a, a coach or whatever. Go like Packers, Bart Star, yeah. Bart Star. <laughs> like that. That's the thing that the reporters are holding up yeah. usually. We had set up the Road NTG two. Um, as a boom mic, and it, burp, burp, it burp. was the worst one <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah, uh, I wouldn't that, say that. Well, okay. Well, well it, it I'm was not buying anybody. Dinner. It was pretty bad, but I think like um, <laughs> it, in the situation in the situation we had it set up in, it was it wasn't optimal. It was like the least optimal microphone I think for that we used. Um, and the way we used it, I think we were trying to predict what, what it was going to sound like, and I was like, no, it's got to be closer. Um, I think it's going to sound. You thought it was going to just pick up him, but it didn't. It picked up all of us, but it just picked up. Like we were way in the distance. Yeah, I think if we would have used a dead cat on that one as well, yep. it would have uh, yeah. worked a lot better. Yep. I think it needed to be closer too, a lot yeah. closer. I mean, we did not ant anticipate that that day would be so windy. Yeah, because yeah. I think like the the normal stuff we had on a normal day would have been fine, but on a really windy day, like because it was very windy out there. Yeah, it just was wasn't enough. But that was not my least favorite microphone. Okay, well, well, we'll get to that in a minute, I think. Okay. <laughs> uh, we switched to the Blue Encore 100, which I thought did really well. Too. I yep. thought that sounded really good. I like that mic. Yeah, that, I mean, that, was, yeah. that, was, that one surprised me. I, I thought it was going to sound good, but it surprised me at how good it sounded. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to then, I guess, before we did that, I think we did the iPhone versus the Android first, yep. and then we went to the lab. iPhone wins. But, oh, false. False. <laughs> so we had oh, I, Jay's okay. iPhone. Tell us in the comments. Vote yes. now. I say <laughs> iPhone wins. I say Android. Okay, better. so um, when I listened to the audio, I didn't, I, I didn't see that what we were switching to. Mm -hmm. I heard Jay's iPhone, 
and then it switched to your Android, and I thought we had plugged in the Blue Encore again. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. So, okay, now again, comment below. Do you think that the Android <laughs> sounded like the Blue Encore? <laughs> it wasn't exactly like it, but I was like, no, oh. no it wasn't. So, yeah, so we recorded audio with his, him, uh, his iPhone, and then my Android. And, mm-hmm. and so, please, yes, let us know what you think, because I think that is I think a point that of contention. Wind, the wind noise on, on the iPhone was worse. Yeah, but there, it also came through on the Android. You could hear it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, then we went... Uh, Neither of them sounded great. I will say that. And then we went over to Captain J, and we uh, sat him down with the uh, IK Multimedia uh, iRig Lab. And I thought mm-hmm. that did a pretty good job for the conditions as yeah. well. Yeah, it was kind of dark sounding, but it can mm-hmm. get the job done. It was decent. It, you know, yeah. for the price, that's the cheapest option by far. For the price, I thought it was pretty impressive because those are like 50 bucks. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think I think that gives a gets a thumbs up mm-hmm. um, based on uh, the entry level lab. Yeah, based on the price point, I, it gets a thumbs up for me too. Yeah. Now we did switch over to the Zoom XY uh, capsule on top of the H6. Yeah, that and was my least favorite. One. Really? Oh yeah. I, I actually thought I was. I knew it was going to sound decent. It wasn't going to sound yeah. great, but I thought it sounded better than I think we were, were all thinking it was going. The wind to. noise was atrocious with that. Yeah, I mean, really, really bad. And that had and, a that had a, a muff on it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, one screen. But oh, what yeah. what I hated about it, and and I this is true. I, there's a bunch of YouTubers that I watch, and I think they use something like that. And maybe it's not that, but it's an X Y style. Mm-hmm. I just don't like X Y style stuff yeah. for speaking. It's passing left and right. Oh, right now. Yeah. it's so annoying. I really <laughs> that was by far my least favorite one. Versus a shotgun <laughs> that's directional and phasey and weird. It did. It picked up mm. b- both sides well. It picked up the 120 degrees or whatever it was at. Yeah. Well, I thought. So I think uh, given the situation, given what you could go in with. If you're a reporter fine. and you're like doing an interview with somebody and you want to, you know, for that situation, sure. But if you're like want to produce content w- with yeah. it. Uh, yeah. Sure. I mean, yeah. it, I think it's probably great for like getting, uh, you know, sounds out in nature. Bird and calls. Th- bird calls. <laughs> but, you know, or you want to just get sound effects and stuff. Yeah. It's probably good for that, too. Yeah. yeah. But I just, I don't want to listen to a podcast recorded like that. Sure. Yeah, sure. I, I agree. Yeah. Well, I think I think we were surprised at how well these microphones performed in the conditions. Um, I wish uh, we could convey how the wind was, re- I mean, yeah. it was intense out there. Yeah. yeah. Guys, comment below and tell us which microphone you prefer, which what we should have done. Uh, give us uh, maybe like maybe we do this 2.0 sometime uh, later. Yeah, if there are if there are people who have experience with this, tell us what we're doing wrong and yeah. give us ideas. Because again, we're not coming here and telling you that we know everything. No. We're experimenting right now. Yeah. Leave a comment below of what you think we should have done, what we should do, or suggestions for other people uh, in the same situation. So we have successfully recorded. Maybe not well, but (laughs) successfully successfully recorded a podcast on a boat. Thanks for joining us around the drum. We'll sway with you again (laughs) later. This this shot is really just all about us oh, in yeah. the wind freaking with the out. motor, freaking out with my daughter who doesn't know how to drive a boat, driving a boat. So I'm gonna move us now to a better spot. It's got a Coke. What is this? It's, and it's diet. Just water is way better than diet Coke. Post a comment below. Okay, so here's what's happening. Let yeah. me explain to the folks at home. No, what's we're all gonna got- die. This is like a theme in the. This is a the theme in the show now. Yep, she says yes. Okay, do we need to say what we're doing? Nope. Our skipper is still in middle school. I've got my coffee. That's all that matters. Okay, so right now we'll go a little bit more left. Oh, God. More PCBs than salt you have to worry about here. (laughs) They'll get around to dredging that later. And the high seas are not uh, kind to us today. Rock the plank. No, don't drive us towards the rocks. Take us that way, Kieran. Look at where I'm pointing. That way. The other way. Is that still on, Kieran? Aye, Captain. So if we die, you guys get to see. Hey, Kieran. Oh, never mind. I'll, I'll, can you go get my coffee? Well, don't panic. Don't freak it's, out. It's, well, she might as well keep tur- turning the way she's going now. Turn us around. Head us towards home. Oh, no, no one's at the wheel. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Our lives are at risk right now. My daughter, Kieran, <laughs> is driving boat. Are you recording this? Trust me. You be professional. What do you want to do? Let's go. We're low on batteries, so let's keep going. Some motor noise, I this would This is assume. great, guys. This is great. <laughs> Just as long as the stands oh, okay. work. Keep it going. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs>